Imagine a world with one central currency. Then imagine a world with over 7,000 cryptocurrencies, but no common stage or platform where all these cryptocurrencies can exchange and transact. Now, think about Ripple XRP. Why do you think the mighty World Economic Forum partnered with XRP? What post-pandemic plan does the World Economic Forum have? And what does it have to do with XRP? This video will answer all these questions and reveal everything about XRP that has been hidden from the public. Now, before we start, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also turn on bell notifications so you will be notified when we upload, since YouTube doesn't always recommend videos of people you're subscribed to. And leave a like on this video so we know if we should make more similar videos. Having said that, let us get right into the video. Some experts have argued that in the very near future, all the cryptocurrencies, which are over 7,000 in number, are going to have their own central digital currency banks. When this becomes reality, we're going to have a huge problem because how will they transact? They will need a bridge or one network or platform to connect them all. To settle this matter, the World Economic Forum came out last year and named XRP as the crypto asset that is most relevant in the emerging central bank digital currency space or CBDC. Now, before we go any further, what is this CBDC? Well, the World Economic Forum defines CBDC as a new form of digitized sovereign currency, generally conceived to be equal to physical cash or reserves held at the central bank. In other words, CBDC is central bank money, or a component of the monetary base and a direct liability of the central bank. As of now, central bank money is composed of physical cash, such as coins and bills, and reserves held at the central bank by financial institutions with access to the central bank's deposit facility. However, CBDC would constitute a third form of central bank money. Having defined and understood CBDC, you might be wondering, what does it have to do with XRP? We're getting right into it. But before we do that, we have a quick word to our subscribers. We want to give back to the community, and that's why we have partnered up with Webull. Our US viewers can get two free stocks of up to $1,600 for free. You can sign up for a free Webull account using the link in the description. They are one of the biggest and best exchanges in the world with zero dollar fees, so definitely check them out. Thanks again, enjoy your free stocks and let's continue with the video. A report published by the World Economic Forum early in 2020 revealed that central banks and government agencies are looking at the potential of CBDCs to solve perennial global financial issues, such as financial inclusion and the stability of payment systems. On the other hand, Ripple once noted that central banks around the world are locked in an arms race to develop their own CBDCs. Ripple went ahead to explain how central banks can employ XRP to facilitate and support the use of CBDCs, citing, RippleNet's on-demand liquidity service allows financial institutions to transact in real time across multiple global markets using the digital asset XRP and such a solution can also support the direct exchange of CBDCs. XRP is faster, less costly and more scalable than any other digital asset, making it the ideal instrument in bridging two different currencies quickly and efficiently. Could it turn out to be that XRP is a plan that was strategically laid out a long time ago? Towards the end of 2020, other headlines reported that the World Economic Forum highlighted the potential of XRP. Regarding Ripple, the World Economic Forum claimed to build the next-generation financial infrastructure, attributing this to Ripple's products that include the RippleNet and On-Demand Liquidity, or ODL. The World Economic Forum further noted that RippleNet is decentralized and standardized and has no single point of failure. Combining these strengths to the on-demand liquidity solution that eliminates the need for two financial institutions to have pre-funded accounts and adds XRP unimaginable capabilities and gives it so much potential. Well, have you joined any dots from what you've heard so far? Is the World Economic Forum endorsing Ripple XRP in a way? Hold still as we find out more. Have you heard about the Great Reset? 
Have you heard a statement that says now is the time for a great reset? If you haven't heard this yet, do not worry. We are about to blow it all. So, what is this great reset? As we all anxiously look forward to the end of this pandemic period, anxiety about the world's social and economic prospects are growing bigger. Well, clearly, there is a reason to worry, as we are facing a sharp economic downturn, which has already begun in some parts of the world. The World Economic Forum believes that we could be facing the worst depression since the 1930s. The World Economic Forum further believes that if we want to achieve a better outcome, the world, meaning every country from the smallest to the mightiest, must act jointly and swiftly to revamp all aspects of our societies and economies, from education to social contracts and working conditions. While every industry, from oil and gas to tech, must be transformed. In other words, there is a huge need for a great reset. According to the World Economic Forum, the Great Reset Initiative has three main components. The first component is to steer the market towards fairer outcomes. This would need governments to improve coordination, such as in tax, regulatory, and fiscal policy, upgrade arrangements, and create the conditions for a stakeholder economy. The second component would be to ensure that investments advance shared goals, such as equality and sustainability. This would require governments to divert their funds towards creating new, more resilient, equitable, and sustainable systems, rather than using funds to fix cracks brought by the pandemic on the old system, such as the huge recovery funds most governments are setting aside. The third component would be to harness the innovations of the fourth industrial revolution to support the public good, especially by addressing health and social challenges. This is where you have to listen carefully. Speaking of the fourth industrial revolution, the World Economic Forum indicated that the Great Reset requires fintechs and added that the fintechs require a common approach to cybersecurity. According to Sunil Sashandri, the Chief Information Security Officer at Visa, fintech innovations come with tremendous economic and social benefits, connecting unbanked and underbanked populations to the digital economy, contributing to small business growth, and empowering consumers in new and exciting ways. Now, if you've been following keenly, we said earlier that the World Economic Forum revealed that central banks and government agencies are looking at the potential of CBDCs to solve perennial global financial issues, such as financial inclusion and the stability of payment systems. The forum then named XRP as the crypto asset most relevant in the central bank digital currency space. Later on, the World Economic Forum highlighted the potential of XRP and claimed to build the next generation of financial infrastructure. Now, the same forum is talking about the Great Reset Initiative requiring fintechs to be achieved. Can you join the dots yet? This only means one thing. The fintech the World Economic Forum is talking about is the Ripple XRP, folks. You might be wondering, why XRP though? and why is it relevant in the CBDC space? This takes us back to the basics of Ripple XRP. At the beginning of this video, we referred to Ripple as the bridge, a bridge capable of connecting both cryptocurrencies and CBDCs through its digital asset XRP. Also, considering XRP is faster, less costly, and more scalable than any other digital asset, and this is what makes it the real deal when it comes to the other payment space, compared to other digital assets. Speaking of Ripple being the real deal, the fintech company has already started its journey to turn around the global financial systems. The company has already partnered with many banking institutions, such as the Bank of America and the Bank of Santander, to deliver optimal cross-border payment solutions. The company also teamed up with the Gates Foundation to level the economic playing field for the poor. Ripple is also collaborating with leading universities around the world to support and accelerate academic research, technical development, and innovation in blockchain, cryptocurrency, and digital payments. Clearly, Ripple is really ahead of the game. And that, folks, is the hidden agenda behind Ripple XRP. Thank you for watching until the end. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you'll be notified when we upload. 
And don't forget your two free stocks by signing up for a Webull account using the link in the description. And we'll see you tomorrow in another video. Take care.